Hello from Chinasia.com. This is Mark Chelsea. Today I want to do a, another video on this. Whoa, gun here. <laughs> this is an airsoft gun and a six millimeter the airsoft gun. Okay, but uh, it's not a very common one. It's a shell ejecting CO2 rifle. Now uh, let me take you around and show you around here okay I did an uh, official review on my hobbies channel you can see my hobbies channel um, video on that I showed you the operation and all that stuff so basically you can see that video to see how how it worked here I'll do a basic rundown and then after that I'll show you some shooting tests just to show you the fun part of this gun Okay, so I mounted a very beefy scope on it, and uh, one thing I want to know, uh, I want to share with you guys is that this gun here is not as costly as the um, APS CM870 shotgun. Uh, that one, well, <laughs> a lot of stuff you guys may not know because you may not handle both, but I did, so I'm going to share my experience with you guys. So basically, the gun here, I installed a shell catcher. Look right here. Okay. So it's basically a bag with Velcro strap uh, here. So you can take the shells out right here. I'll demonstrate it right now. So this gun, one thing about the gun though, uh, before I get off the shells, right here on the um, stock, okay, this part will scratch your hand uh, and arm because it's very rough and you can feel the edges so what I did was took a piece of um, sandpaper uh, water sandpaper and then sand it down and it solved the problem right away so this is the magazine let me put the gun down the gun is very very heavy okay. with the scope on it's about like 10 to 12 pounds so got lots of shells <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a bunch of shells here. Now the shells are kind of funny. Um, the shells you inject the gas and the bullet, I mean the uh, BB is inside, okay? And then it goes in like this. Yeah, like a normal uh, gun. And the shells comes in three level, uh, levels, like three power level. So this is the uh, stock one, Angel shell, which is the lower level. It's about like 400 FPS. And then you can get the um, higher ones that goes like 600 and then uh, 800 FPS. Okay, but um, you have to find it yourself. <laughs> they don't come with, with the gun. And so you pack the shells inside. So the ammo is loaded right here. And then this is the gas fire pin. Okay, so we don't have any ammo and gas here. I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. Okay. So basically, you make sure that the gun is uh, loaded properly, of course, and then show in. Okay, let's take a look right here. Can you catch that? <laughs> One more. Okay, basically, it's really just like that. And. Um, so after, oops, okay, this thing just kind of fell off. Not pretty secure today. Uh, maybe the way I mounted it. There we go. Again. Okay, now I shot all my shells. See, no more shells. And the shells are all collected inside the bag. Right here is about half full, so I would say uh, safe. You can hold one meg to two meg of shots. What you do is open the bag and then collect it. Put it inside your pouch or whatever. Seal it up. And now you can reuse it. So that's pretty cool. Now, the um, legal. Uh, state of this gun is pretty debatable because um, 
The gun itself is very legal in Canada, of course, because I bought it in Canada. <laughs> or else it won't be legal. So, um, yeah, it comes with this stock uh, stock shell. So this the what they call the low power shell. But then even with the higher power shell, just the shell itself have no power. Let me show you. Okay. So I'm going to take a uh, stock thing. And plus it has no barrel, so it doesn't consider a gun itself. Okay, it comes with a charger like this. Yeah. So you load it up, CO2, one, two, three, and then like that. Okay, now it's charged. So it's not that hard to charge after after all. Okay, when you get used to it, it's a, it's a very quick process. And then right now I'm gonna show you how what I mean. Okay, with a pen, I'm gonna fire this thing uh, right here, pressing this. See, it's a very small of air, and it has no power whatsoever. Really, like I even tried to punch it, like uh, hit a hit a pop can. Uh, let me show you here. Here we got a pop can. Okay, I want to shoot this thing right up close like really like that okay I'm gonna shoot it right here so you can see it I'm gonna charge it again and you can see it it doesn't do any damage and you can see that most of the power is not just from the gas but also it needs the barrel the seal uh, between the shells and the barrel and all that stuff so it all adds up to the power you need just the shell itself has no power like not no but very little power. This is a uh, normal 0.25 gram BB. Okay. Now I'm going to put the thing okay. uh, where I'm going to put it. Okay, I'm going to put it beside a camera. It's kind of risky, but okay, done. You hear that? It didn't even dent it. Where did it go? <laughs> There's no damage to the can. Okay, I'm going to show you all around. No damage to the can. You can hear the bang sound, right? Mm -hmm. But no damage whatsoever. So, um, yeah, even with the higher power ones, it will not do any damage. Just with the shell itself, it won't do any damage. We're asked, okay, let's compare. With a um, CAM 870, okay, shell ejecting shotgun, just using the show is a lot of power. Let me charge it up. Okay. Because it's a shotgun, okay, because this is a shotgun, most of the power really do generate uh, from the show itself. And it doesn't really require you to have the barrel to project that kind of power out. With the barrel, your, your shot is more powerful. Even without it, it's still very powerful. Look. Ooh. Like the kind of gas you see that pops out, it's a lot of gas and uh, it's very powerful. So, with the uh, shotgun, you can have power just using the shell and poke it by the firing pin and it will work. But with these shells, okay, you need the gun. So, this is one thing you really need to know. Another thing is for the um, shell catcher. Okay, it doesn't come with the gun package. You need to buy it separately from APS site. And uh, my opinion is, if you shoot gently, uh, like not really pulling the bolt really hard, it'll work. If you pull the bolt really hard, okay, it may um, have one one side of the lock here uh, loosen up. But oh well, it's it's okay. Okay, for me, it works fine. Um, the bipod, of course, doesn't come with the gun, but uh, you can add that on yourself. And also the scope doesn't come uh, with the, like the gun doesn't come with the scope. And the new version of the um, APS, APM50 doesn't have hop up. So uh, the hop up adjustment knob right here, yeah, you won't find that on the new version. So basically that's a lot of stuff that you may not know uh, before handling it. And um, price, okay, the price. On this thing, okay, it's a lot of uh, weight here, a lot of metal inside, and but you get like plastic body. 
the, the price of this thing costs way less than the shotgun. Well, in my opinion, because the APS-C M870 shotgun, okay, it's realistic, full metal, more metal, and also it's wood, and wood is always pricey. Like if they give you real wood for whatever, it's always pricey. In my opinion, the wood doesn't come to really nice uh, finish, so I put a lot of gun stock wax on top and rub it, and it becomes very classy right now. Also, the, uh, the design of the shotgun here is that it doesn't have any inner barrel. So what we're shooting is really like a shotgun. And that's why it's so worth it because you can put anything inside and it will shoot it out as long as it fits. So it's actually pretty cool. You can play it with uh, just like stuff like a flower. You can play with powder, uh, plastic BBs, steel BBs, pellets whatever a lot of experiment that you can do with this gun and uh, it's not just plastic airsoft you can also um, ch change the shell color the cover you can change it and uh, like change it to other things like blue uh, whatever so you have a lot of stuff to play with this gun and it's very addictive whereas that one okay you can only change different power level shells and then um, like according to uh, what they say is like the the, the low power, medium power, and high power shells. The highest power shell can go up to 800 FPS and um, it's pretty powerful. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, basically the charging process, charging the steel tube, okay. I would say that the shotgun is easier to charge. Why? Because if you pay attention to the threading right here, the knob. Okay, for this one, you need to screw, 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 turn, 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 and then put the bullet in, and then go turn, 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 all the way. That's a lot of turning. For this one, you only turn, and then you can pull it up already, see? It saves you a lot of time. You just do a few turns, okay, three turns, and then pull it up. Okay, it's very cool, eh? very fast. And also, if you notice a knob, this one is a circle, this one is not. This is oval shape for the shotgun. So the shotgun is easier to load, faster to load, and um, yeah. Also, this one you're doing a lot of work for one bullet. I mean, one M. Uh, what the story? One BB to be shot. This one you're shooting a shell contained of anything you want. So give and take, right? <laughs> you can enjoy a shot, a blast of everything, or one shot that is very precise and very powerful. Also, um, if you look at this, uh, shell ejecting sniper rifle. The only one that I find which is comparable to this one is the one by Sukong Gear. Th that one um, costs about 1.6K <laughs> USD. And it's really ridiculous because they don't even store gas inside the shell. It's just for look and it's 1.6K. This one, the weight is super beefy. The build is very beefy. The shell contain um, the steel too and also the ammo so that when you use it you can just like have a lot of shells uh, ready and then you just keep plugging in and your gun will never run out of gas as long as you have the shells around so it's very much like a firearm you reload all the bullets you need you go to the range you shoot all the bullets and you go home right you cannot like expect uh, a sniper rifle firearm to fire like uh, 500 bullets in one magazine right so that's the difference and it really gives you the feeling of how the firearm works because you see with shotgun shells if you have firearm shotgun you need if you reload your own shells you also need to uh, do a lot of work you have to have that press and everything put the primers and then load everything up okay so that's a lot of work too and then you take all the shells maybe I say 30 50 shells go to the range Okay, have fun one day and then you're done, right? You won't expect that you have a shotgun at a firearm range and then you pump 500 rounds. Uh, that, that's like really impossible. So, <laughs> so in my opinion, it gives you the feeling of how uh, real firearm feels uh, in terms of operation. So most airsofters, when they're used to playing war games, it doesn't really make sense to them. To me, it does. So yeah, this APM, uh, 50 
the sniper rifle. It's really good. After playing it uh, like for a few months now, I would say that uh, accuracy is still very good. And also, don't forget that the barrel, the inner barrel, is steel, stainless steel inner barrel. So it's not brass and uh, you can shoot 6mm steel ball bearings with the higher power shells and uh, get very devastating power. So beside that it's also like an airsoft gun, it can also be a target shooting gun uh, for shooting cans and stuff like that. Okay so enough said. Now to end the video I want to do a few fun demonstration over there, some can testing and so on. So let's go. Okay guys, so here we got a uh, metal airsoft target. Let's try this out. Standing at about uh, like a medium range. Nice shoot it. Okay guys, shot right there. Impressive. Let's take a look. This guy is dead. Look at that. Uh oh. Bad news. <laughs> Scary, eh? Look at that target. Almost bust through it. Wow. I'm not using this again. Okay, next one. Okay guys, so this is a uh, soup can. Uh, I'm gonna do the test again. And mind you that I'm not using plastic BB. I'm using uh, metallic BB. So um, do not do this or try this at, at home or with your friends. It's not a good idea. Okay. It's fun with the shell ejecting actually because when you are done with one shot you eject it and it really it's really safe. So let's take a look at that. Holy shit. In a sight. Yeah, changing the aim will really change the result, eh? Very scary shit. So it basically passed through the can and also the cardboard. Next one. Okay guys, so this is a uh, plastic bottle. Usually, with plastic BBs, it will bounce. But now I'm using metallic BBs. So, we need to see if it can punch through the plastic. I think it did. Sounds like it. Okay, let's check it out. Pretty uh, okay sound, not very loud actually. I like it. Okay, did it break? Let's see. Whoa, it did. Okay, it went through here. You see the crack? And then the other side. Right here. Two sides. Scary power. Oh. Okay. Let's try our next test. Okay, guys. So, uh, this is a pop can inside a uh, inside a soup can and again we're not using plastic baby so the result will be different actually you know what with the shelves it's cool but it's even more cool when you feel a little bit of um, recoil it's like the air push you back kind of fun so there we go. Let's see. I'm sure that it punched through here and it's punched through the other side. Actually, you know what? Um, pop cans are really nothing for metal projectiles because, um, oh crap, it's stuck. Okay, but I'm sure you can see the hole. So that's the second hole that it went through. Okay, so it went through here and then the other side. So, yeah, you can see, very, very powerful. So, it's meant for long range and also uh, target shooting. 
So, yeah, let's try something else. Hey guys, this is uh, Airsoft Joe Trap Target. Again, just doing this for fun, uh, education purpose. <laughs> so, we're using metallic BBs and uh, plastic BBs. And also, it's a powerful rifle, so it's going to go through this thing for sure. So, we're just going to test to see if the gel works. For sure, it's broken. One more shot, maybe. Okay, out of aim. Let's see. Go up and check it out. This trap is, uh, I think I broke the trap before, but I don't know how it does this time. So let's take a look. I can't really see where it went in. <laughs> I think the um, oh by the way I think I felt it right here right. Whew. nasty exit look at that Whew. very cool eh? okay next video okay guys this is a glass jar uh, with label sticker still on there so um, basically I finished my first mag and now I'm using my second mag loaded with metallic BBs again. So let's try that out. Breaking glass is not a hard thing as long as you have the right ammo, but it's also not that easy. Okay, the first shot should be kind of weak. Did I actually break it or did the gas leak? Let me let me check it out first, okay? It sounds so it sounds not right. Oh crap, it broke already. <laughs> I thought it didn't break. Okay, on the first shot, I thought that it didn't break and I shoot the second one. But actually it did, actually. Scary enough, it did. Look at that. Okay, it was so quiet that, do you see this is the second shot? It was so quiet that I don't even realize that it's breaking anything. It sounds even quieter than a, a pellet gun, like a very quiet pellet gun, so. Okay, good, next test. Okay guys, so this shot is gonna be a bit different. Um, we uh, try one glass bottle. Now I'm trying two glass bottles together. It's like uh, one in front of another, and I'll try to see if I can break both together. Let's try it out. So, aiming. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot another shot. Let's just see what happened, okay? I did one shot, not sure if I missed it. The sound is too quiet on this thing, so I'm really not sure, but if, whoa! Okay, the first one is broken. Second one, is it broken? Oh, no, it's not broken yet. Okay, that is the second one, it's not broken. So I'll shoot one more shot right here, just to Make sure I can nuke it out. I'll try my best. Let's go. Okay, so I'll put you here and zoom in. Okay, it should be right above the uh, orange line. Okay, let's try again. One more shot. Okay, let's check it out. Not sure if I can nuke the back, uh, the back of that that bottle, but nah, didn't. But I nuked this one a bit more. So, yeah, proving that my skills not so good. <laughs> need to aim better so yeah it's uh, kind of hard because I'm holding holding the uh, rifle 
freestanding it, but you can see that it's pretty pretty awesome, eh? Very awesome. So, okay. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like, and just to uh, say this again, I'm just doing this video on a test for educational purpose so everyone can see it. And uh, it's a very powerful gun, very unique and uh, realistic rifle. And of course, it's uh, legal in Canada too, because uh, we, I bought it in Canada, so it should be legal and have to be legal. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.